Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Beyond Horizons. And as I've informed you, I have started the new Python series. So today it will be our first lesson and it's going to be all about basics of Python and how to install it and many more. Okay, so today what are we going to learn is that as you can see, this is my channel icon. If people who didn't subscribe, please do subscribe. And we are going to start with the Python series where Python is a whole new way of making programming easier. And the most important thing about Python is that we do not need to know the basics because Python is very, very easy. You shouldn't uh, feel afraid that, oh, I do not know the basics and I do not know computer science. But Python is just like English. We can learn the command, we can learn the syntax, and it would be much, much easier. So let's get started and let's jump in. So quite a few basics um, as overall, because we'll be using some terminologies. So just a refresher. So why and what is coding and why coding is important. So just like how we give instructions, right? We give instructions to our computer. We give instructions to our friends. We give instructions to the students. We give instructions to the friends, family, everything. And we are also guided and bound by the instructions. So coding is a language in which you give some instructions to your computer and your computer processes it and produces the output okay and then there are four important steps or instructions you know uh, these instructions must be basically whatever you give right whatever instructions you give to your computer must be dividable what do you mean by dividable the goal the entire goal has to be split up into multiple steps because we have to execute it step by step then only we will be able to produce results just just like that we cannot go and start writing everything and immediately we can not get the output because we have to debug we need to check and every every single aspect is very very important so it should be dividable the next is the steps that is whatever we are doing the next next steps it should be ordered that is order of steps is very important so for example if you're brushing your teeth you wash your brush put the paste on and then brush or what will you do will you put the brush i mean sorry take the brush put the paste brush and then wash your brush and keep it so the first one is the right way. You wash with the paste, brush, then clean it up and put it back. So this is the procedure, right? So you can't interchange the steps. So then if you interchange, the final output will be completely a mess. So be very careful. So order of the steps is very, very important. And, you know, when, for example, we should be able to determine the result. For example, we should know already like this might be the output. Suppose you're doing an addition problem. So at that time, if somebody asks what is 5 plus 5? So you know obviously it is 10. But if you're not able to predict it is 10 or you're, you're writing a program and you're waiting for the answer and it comes as 11, you cannot de just determine and say that that 11, whatever the answer was, is correct because you need to know whether 10 will be the correct answer or 11 will be the correct answer so one should be able to determine the result at least approximately not completely approximately and though the values in it changes that is it should be repeatable the code should be repeatable repeatable in the sense so for example, you're writing an addition problem for five plus five and you finish it, you re execute it. 
and the next time if you change the value suppose for 5 plus 3 so obviously the answer should come up as 8 and it should take up any number of uh, times it should make uh, make the code run right it should be repeated any number any number of times it should take place so all these points are very very important so it should be dividable it should be ordered it should be able to determine the result and it should be repeatable so this is the over and this is the way that we write coding and this is why coding is very very important and also in this tech savvy world which is always technology driven as electrical engineers or mechanical or civil or be it computer science or even biomedical students they need coding because it's everything is done with the help of computers and the process is very very quick so this is the importance of learning coding let's move ahead i hope you guys are with me yep the next let's move ahead so so this is all about coding and why it is very important and the next is what is this programming language everybody says coding programming language yes just like that how we are able to understand different languages and we communicate with languages of course there is plenty of languages in our universe and programming languages are similar to that where we communicate with the computers just like how we communicate just now i'm talking to you all by communicating in english just like that people might communicate in different different languages so similarly our computer needs to be communicated with the help of programming languages because your computer knows only zeros and ones and these programming languages will be converted into zeros and ones according to the compiler or the interpreter that will be continuing ahead and you'll be knowing more on it okay and also you have to let the computer know what you want to execute right so that is very important and in this world there are plenty of programming languages so in that fast moving world python is one of the easiest to understand and learn and there's no much prerequisites to learn python let's move ahead what is source code and machine code so this is very important because source code and machine code is very 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 important because there is both compilers and interpreters which are used to convert the program written in a high level language into the machine code okay so that is very very important to know and there are differences between a compiler and an interpreter so let's see what it is okay so an interpreter is it translates the program it translates the computer code one statement at a time it doesn't take the entire code execute it interpret it no it takes one by one so interpreter usually takes less amount of time to analyze the source code okay however the all the overall execution time is comparatively slower than compiler but at least up to the level you have finished it would say where's the mistake and it would execute before the result you know before the error so it is very easy and it is ob non-object code because you know after every time it would give you a result and that has to be analyzed so you don't need any extra memory to store it and the programming languages which use interpreter are javascript python ruby they all use interpreters okay and in today's lesson and the series is gonna be about python okay and let's move ahead compiler it scans the entire program and translates the whole into a machine code that is 
source code is what we as programmers we say right so whatever the language what we are typing or whatever we speak that is a high level language and the program what is the computer giving us as an output is a machine code it understands only zeros and ones and compilers usually take a large amount of time to analyze the source code however the execution is fast why because it's taking a longer time in finding out or analyzing the source code and execution is quick but interpreter it takes very short time to analyze the source code but the executing time is comparatively less than that of the compiler but we generally use interpreters because it's very easy and it always generates an object code which further requires linking that is it needs some memory okay and programming languages like c c++ java use compilers now moving ahead let's see more on source code and machine code so we generally write a program using a high level language a high level language is one that is understandable by us that is humans that is called a source code if anybody needs any clarification of course this slide is for you and machine code the computer does not understand high level language so that's the reason it understands everything in zeros and ones and that is called as binary which is a machine code and to convert source code into machine code we either need we need a compiler or an interpreter okay so we need all of these guys okay i hope is it much much clear let's move ahead so let's learn more interesting facts about python so I know many of you know who found out Python and there's an interesting fact. So the fact is and who created it is Guido von Rossum and it was released in 1991. And you must be wondering why the name is termed as Python. It was named after the famous BBC comedy series Monte Python Circus and Goodyear von Rossum was a big fan of the series and then he termed the language as Python. So this is an interesting fact, isn't it? So it is used for web development, software development, mathematics, system scripting and more. And why we should study Python. The syntax of Python is very simple compared to C, C++, Java. It's very simple and it's in it's as easy as English language because most of it you can understand by looking at it itself like just like English and it works on different platforms such as Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi etc and of course as in the previous slide I told you it's an interpreter language which means it can be executed step by step comparatively writing Python code is simple than other programming languages it's very easy and it's very simple so let's move ahead how do you install python ide so go to the steps so these are the steps so in on your computer you have the pc icon or the computer icon and check the properties whether your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit and open chrome or any browser you like and type python ide and search once you click on the download you know when you open up okay it goes to a browser which says python.org and then at the start you will find downloads okay click on the download it reloads to your another page and at it'll be a yellow box which says download the latest version so click on it download it and once you download it okay so this is one more thing what is ide it means integrated development environment okay so it is integrated development environment so this is very very important because we are integrating things together developing it as an environment okay so this is 
very important IDE and once you download it takes once you download the latest version if in case you are not using Windows you can take up the other things like Mac or Linux okay and once you download it would prompt you to keep or discard always choose keep and once it's downloaded install it in the computer you should get a dialog box as shown in the picture you would get this okay and now do not rush and click immediately on install now but make sure both the check boxes out here you can see the two check boxes right here so this even this has to be checked because if the install has to be checked at the same time the add python also has to be checked is because if you do not choose the python path it would cause a lot of trouble every time you need to choose the path and give it so when you do this now automatically it would you know choose the path and then after you check box these two then you press install now and then python will get installed and how to install python IDE? note check you know you have to check the check box for adding the python that's what i said after completing step i that is after installing then a small pop-up would come where you got to press yes and now once it's installed click on close search for python IDLE. okay not ide but you have to search for python IDLE in the search bar and open it and that page is called as a shell which would look like this okay this is how your shell will look like and this is all about how do you install python and the other things that is more on these will be continued and i'll be taking further on how do you write your first command or your first program in python thank you very much and i would like to know your comments and uh, what else do you need if you need any any other language or any other things related to power systems or python do let me know in the comment sections and do support me by the likes and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much